Number four, Luke Lau for the Comets. Number 13, Hunter Shane Lobb. Number 20, Brady Hartman. Number 23, Brandon Kinzer. 33, Mike Rands is your starting lineup for the Casting Comets. Casting Comets are also coached by Carl Davis. Now panning over to the Squires. Number 11, Mason Hamby. Camden Lester. Number five, Braden Casper. Number five, Braden Casper. Number three, Weston Hamby. That's the starting lineup for the Manchester Squires. The Squires are coached by uh, Mark Underwood. Well, Dakota, we, we didn't get the uh, JV preview off of this matchup. I do know that uh, the Comets fell, the JV Comets fell to the JV Squires, so let's see how the varsity matchup goes. Yeah. We got Shane Lob in the middle for the tip. I'm surprised for the Squires for starting off the play tonight. They didn't put their six foot seven uh, center out there to, to go for that tip. Hard saying. I do know I was uh, I was talking with uh, Eric Lynn, the stat keeper for the for the comments earlier today, and he mentioned that overall we actually have the height advantage. Really? Over the Squires. Um, but they're a quicker team, so let's see how this plays up. Number 22 for the Squires with the jumper, and it's good. Squires with first strike tonight. Kinzer with the ball crossing over the midline. Not Hartman. Not Hartman. See if we can keep it that way. Rands and, with the ball. And that's Mike Rands, not Matt. <laughs> Over to Kinzer. Kinzer looking to drive. Plants so. back to Hartman, who is Hartman. Over to Lau. Three-second violation. Send it back over to the Squires. Repeat what the announcer said. Three, Squires. Number 11, keep it on the outside of the arc. We're drive drive in. in. One on the base to put it up. Out on the Squires. So Luke Lau is going to send it into Kinzer. Kinzer crossing mid. Trying to get something moving. Over to Rands. Rands over to Kinzer. Pop up for three. And it's three. Good. Hopefully he can keep that dialed in tonight. Uh, Kinzer's just been off the rim. Uh, and just just uh, the thinnest of margins off of his threes so far this season. Squires responding with a three of their own. Number five. 
be interesting to see a game of trading punches with threes. <laughs> yeah. Hens right, are showing the Squires he can make threes. Squires responded to that. Lyle giving it to Rands. And Rands getting it out to Hartman. Back to Rands, trying to find an opening, somewhere to drive, maybe somewhere to toss up a three, anything. Giving it to Kinzer, a little Finecki on the receiving end, but it's all right, he gains control. Over to Lau, woo, Lau almost lost it. And then he did lose it. Squires number three stealing it, just stripping it right out of his hands. Bobbing it way over to the corner, number 22. Into the post and it's good for two. Nice pass play by, by the Squires. Textbook right there. Fake up, bounce pass, and just get inside of everybody. Kinzer looking for some help. Getting it to Shane Lobb and over to Hartman. Hartman over to Rands. Rands with the fake into Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb in trouble down on the baseline. He's ripped right out of his hands. Squires. Two. Looks to be a timeout called on the field by Kasten. With that, we're going to take a short little break here. You're watching RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today, online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe, online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. And we're back. Ball in for the Comets. Wow, take it mid-court. Trying to keep a hold of it. It just picked Damn his it. pocket twice. In trouble getting it over to Hartman. And outside sending it over to Kinzer. Kinzer looking. with the baseline drive. Can't go anywhere with it. Out to Shane Lowe. Cross to Lau. Wow, this is a big city. Watch those pockets, man. All right. <laughs> over to Hartman. And Scott. And the Kins are for a three, a deep three. Just a little bit too hard. Hartman, Hartman on the rebound, shot it up. Scott resetting it. Good move by the Comets. Can't be too careful. Scott for the three. Just off the mark. Scott trying to get in there and get it back. Uh, Leaves the lane open for the layup, but it's no good. Shane Lowe. Shane Lowe with that <laughs> rebound. Comets taking it easy, slowing it down a little bit, trying to make sure they're all in position to make their play. Smart thinking. Kinzer with the spin. And loses it when he's trying to figure out what he's going to do with it. I'm not sure if he was planning on the layup or if he was looking for the open man, but he lost it. Squire's taking advantage of that. Kinzer getting over to Shane Lob, but back to Kinzer. Fakes that three, sends it over to Scott. Back to Lau. Over to Kinzer, looking to drive base, get up for two. Off the mark, and Squires with the rebound. All up. Squires able to keep it in play. Send it out. Squires taking it easy now, make sure everyone's set up. Going around the arc. Looking in for a lane, something. Down to the baseline. Clear across the court. He's open enough to take it. Off the mark. 
Shane Lobb trying to get in for the rebound, couldn't quite get it. Squires number 11 will get the shot and the foul. There's a foul on number 13, Hunter Shane Lobb. His first, team first, first foul of the game. We got six minutes into a ball game without a foul. How'd that happen? Uh, clean game so far until now. <laughs> now the blood will flow. All right, <laughs> shots up and it's good. Making that a three-point play. Luke Lau bringing it across midcourt. And a little Fineke handling it. Hartman setting up the screen to get Lau to move. Shane Lobb. Drawing the foul. Foul's on number 22. Squires number 10 in for their number 20. Send it out to Hartman. Hartman trying to get over to Kinzer. Bad pass and Squires taking advantage. Squires number 11 for the, for the quick down and two. Stretched themselves out to an early 13 point lead. As Kinzer looks for his play. In the Shane Lob. Back over to Kinzer popping a three. Just, just off. off the mark. I should have kept my mouth shut. I jinxed it. Now Squires putting the three of their own just a bit short. Shane Lobb on the rebound getting over to Lau. Kinzer. Went in for the drive and got stuck in the defense. Out to Scott. Just kicks it into Shane Lobb. Looking to pass it to someone. Gets it over to Kinzer. Kinzer dribbles it off his own foot. What just happened here? Calling a pushing foul. I'll put it on Kinzer. Yep. <laughs> got number 33, Rands checking in for Scott. We got number 11, Mark Smith checking in for 20, Hartman. Ball makes its way back into Squires territory. Squires trying to get something moving. Keep interchanging the ball. The same three players on the outside of the arc. They, they may just screens. be bleeding down this first quarter. Not sure. Well, it could be. Maybe making one more play, maybe. I imagine that's what you're going to do is run the clock down to where comments don't have time to answer. Driving into the Popping paint. In for a two. Bit short. They get their rebound for easy layup for two. And timed it right on the end of that quarter. Well, the first quarter winds down with a score of Squires 18, Comets 3. We'll be back here in a moment as the second period picks up here on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. And as the teams finish up with their pre-quarter huddle, we're back. Comets get some strategies talked over there in the little interim. So they're trailing by 15 points. They got a Hopefully make some kind of catch up here before the halftime.
Teams taken out to the court. Under the uh, mentorship of, uh, of the new coaching staff, the morale has definitely improved, but you can see on the sidelines that the game so far is definitely starting to wear on the coaching staff. Absolutely. Bad pass there by Mark Smith. Trying to get it over to Kinzer. Kinzer manages to strip it. That looked like all ball from the stands. We'll see how they call that. Yeah, just out of bounds. Squire ball. Maybe an opening. Get Quick up for jumper it. for two. Easy two. Mm -hmm. Need to get some defense down in that post. Kins are bringing the ball back into Comets territory. They're getting it in Smith. They're back out to Kinzer. Who the Reds. Over to Lau. Lau looking for something. Over to Kinzer. Kinzer with a fake. He's going to dribble it. Looking for some help. Launching it over to Lau. Lau tries to go baseline. There's just too many squires there out to Shane Lau. Over to Kinzer. He's going to pop the three. It's short. Off. Stays in, though, for Squires. Squires popping the three. In and out. Kinzer with the rebound. Smart hold to clear himself uh, easy transition back into Comets territory. And for a drive looking for a pass. It's over to Rands. Going back to Kinzer. Kinzer loses it off his own foot, manages to get it back as it's rolling. Now he's getting into Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb stuck on the baseline, trying to do something with it. Pops it up for a really short shot. Squires now going up for the easy two. Can't get it, but they got travel called on him. Sending it back over Comet's way. Brady Hartman, number 20, coming in for Mark Smith, number 11. And the ball's in play. Kids are over to Rands. Rand's looking for somebody to give it to. That's it into Shane Lob. Launches it over to Lau. Back to Kinzer. Looking to drive. Loses hold of it. Loses hold of the ball but draws the foul. Foul was on number 20. That'll be his first and team second. Timeout called by Kasten. With that, we're going to take a little short break here. Thank you for tuning in. This is RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. We're back after that short break. Both teams taken to the court. Still Comets possession. I don't see any lineup changes in the midst of that halftime. Or halftime. Timeout. Yep, it's late. Do I know where my brain is? Lau with the jump shot. It's a little off the mark. Squires now. Going to pass it out. He's looking for help. Driving. Drove almost all the way into the paint, though.
35 for the Squires. Looking for some movement. Five. Over to 52. The six foot seven is in play right now. Just towering over Lau. Towers over Shane Lau. Ball's up for an easy layup. Brandon Kinzer bringing it back into casting territory. Over to Lau. Trying to get it in. Kinzer with the three. It's good. There we go. Drains it. More like that would do us some good. Absolutely. Given that Kinzer's the only one on the board, we'll need it. Squires with possession down around the three point line. Ball in for a baseline drive. No good. Goes back out to the three. Oh, cross the opposite three, four. Popping it. And it's off the top of the board. Squires on the rebound, popping another three. And that one's good. So many things I thought I knew. I could have sworn that when the ball went off the top of the backboard, it was out of bounds. I get, yeah. Not too sure on that one. Obviously, the refs disagree with me here. <laughs> They have final say. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. All right. Rands with possession of the ball. Over to Kinzer. Shane Lobb is looking to set a screen. Kids are getting over to Lau. Lau getting over to Hartman. Trying to shake his squire off of him. Sends it up to Lau. Oh, I thought Lau was in good position for that, to pop that three, but... Didn't quite have it. Out to Rands. Rands and Shane Laub. Shane Laub holding on to it for a second, trying to figure out what he can do. Brings it over to Rands. He's trying to get open, tried to get in Shane Laub, but that six foot seven got a hand in there. Went up for the layup. And that's another Squire, two points. Now with a 21-point lead, 2.38 left in the half. Over to Lau. Lau runs for the baseline. It's no good. So we're to Shane Lau to try and put up for two. In ah, and out, in out. Got his own rebound. Draws Drew the foul. foul while he was shooting. He's going to get two from the line. Good on Shane Lau to get on his own rebound. And might not have been able to get it, but he got the foul, so that worked. Drew the foul from the big number 52. I think he just went over the back trying to reach for that rebound. Shots up, a lot of arc, and it's good. Over 22, Zane Scott, 40, Zach Conrad checking in for Mike Rands and Brady Hartman. Second shot's up, and it's off the front of the rim and rolls around, and goes out. Squires now, they're into the court. Number three trying to get something going. Gets it over to big number 52, who's now being guarded by Zach Conrad. Conrad. Doesn't quite match him for size, but he's as close as we got. Right, number three go drives in, passes off to number 20, who's now around the outside again. Over to 52. And it's 34. To 11, keep it on the top of the arc. Send it to a corner. And travel. we got to travel. Mark Smith now in for Hunter Shanelob. 142 left in the half. As Brandon Kinzer brings it back into Comets territory. Kinzer, looking for opening, gets to Conrad. Conrad looking for somebody to help him. Over to Zane Scott, who almost loses it. Shout out to Kinzer again. Kinzer with the baseline drive, and then back out to the three-point arc. To Scott, back over to Kinzer, pop up for a three, deep three. And then it's off the mark. And that over the crowd pass to 11, nets another quick lay-in. 
60 seconds now in the half. As the Comets struggle to answer. Wow. Trying to get something moving. Squires with the steal, going for the easy layup. And it's good too. Drawing the foul on the shot. That'll be Levi Lau's first. I'm starting to get really concerned about the crowd that's in the stands over there because all the players that keep going through that side of the court just go flying into the stands. <laughs> they seem to know what they signed up for. <laughs> yeah, splash zone. We got number 20, Brady Hartman, coming in for Zach Conrad. All right. Number three puts up a shot and gets the and one, making that a three-point play and putting the score at 32 to seven, advantage Squires. Smith with the ball, getting into Scott. Gonna find a play here, gets it over to Kinzer. Kinzer going for the drive, behind the backboard, lobs it clear to Lau, Lau for off, three. just off the mark. I was calling Squire ball. Foul was on number 11, Mark Smith. That'll be his first. Squires. 12 seconds left in the half. Squires with the drive, kicks it over to the three point line. That's number 11 great. drives in. Over to number 10. Looks like there was a drive on that play. Comets will take possession with 5.6 remaining. And that foul, that drive foul, or offensive foul, excuse me, was on Squires number 11. Comets number 33, Mark Rands, 13, under Shane Lobb in play now. No, that's a Mike Rands, not a Mark Rands. He was in it, for Mark Smith. Mark Smith, I met right. <laughs> <laughs> My job is messing up names. Kinzer with the ball. <laughs> Going in, trying to get that buzzer beater. For the three-point, oh, he gets it. Beautiful. Great way to close out this first half. Awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we close the first half with uh, Comets trailing the Squires 32 to 10. Thank you for your viewership here on RTC TV4. We'll have a few words from our sponsors. We'll have a uh, quick halftime break, and then we'll be back for the second half. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, and we're back after halftime, starting off the third period. Both teams taking up to the field to be a Squires ball. Court, court, man. Uh, court. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I knew I was going to do that one time. Hey, I'll get names wrong, you get sports wrong. All right. <laughs> All right, Squires passing the ball around the three-point line. If you're just joining us, you can see by the score is a fairly one-sided first half. Let's see if uh, the Comets have come up with some halftime strategy to even up this score. Squires with a baseline drive, lobbing it up towards the three. It's a deep two that's no good. Shane Lobb with the rebound. And Hartman to Kinzer. Taking nice and slow, getting across the midline, getting over to Lau. Across mid, getting over to Hartman. Hartman sending it in to Rands. Rands getting up to Shane Lobb, put up for two. No good. Can't get it. He now was you, there. Just you can't miss those. We can't keep missing those short post shots and, and anticipate success on the, on the ball, ball court. I about said field, too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
I hoped you didn't hear it, but you heard it, yes. Yeah. All right, in, <laughs> into Hartman. Over to Kinzer, he's gonna drive the baseline and step out of bound. No, draw a foul. Something happened where I could not see it. The ref blew the whistle, what did he say? It's on 20. Block and foul on 20, so still comment ball. That'll be his second. Squires first in the half. And the ball is into Shane Laub. He's looking for some help. Over to Lau. He'll give it back to Kinzer. And you're sending it over to Rands. Rands Man. with the fake, drives in and gets the ball stripped. And Squires answer with an easy layup. Definitely, Squires got a bit of a speed advantage. They were over to the other side of the court real quick. Absolutely. All right, into Rands. With a Shane Lobb trying to get something in the post, put it up for two. There and you go. That's good. That's that's what that's supposed to look like. Squires just sending it downtown. Put it up for the two. Quick. Well, again, stats manager Eric Lynn earlier and I, I was talking with him and he had mentioned, that's comments for two, he had mentioned that we have the height advantage, but they have the speed advantage. And it's definitely showing. And I believe of the two, if you've only got to choose one, choose speed. Yeah, every time. If you can get there faster than your opponents, you're all set to make an easy layup. You know, to, to make a, uh, to make an observation that could just net me, oh, oh, open oh. three, in and out. out. You got on the rebound. Drawing the foul. To, but to make an observation that, that could net me a position on ESPN, the team that can get to the other end quicker and put more balls in the basket, they're gonna be the team that wins. Well, I'd, I'd imagine that's how it would work. And uh, I don't think you're gonna get the ESPN on that one, pal. Ah, <laughs> first, uh, first free throw is good. No, not, a, not if I can't remember players' names and, and, and what the different things on the floor going on are. And if I can't remember what sport we're playing. What's this, hockey? <laughs> that's what the comments need. And second <laughs> free throw is good. Looks like the Squires are going to start running a little bit more pressure. Kinzer going to get across the midline. Gets there, sends it over to Lau. He was open for a split second to make a shot. He loses it. Squire ball now. Looks like uh, we're seeing some fresh faces on the Squire side. Foul on Brady Hartman. That'll be his first. Team second in the half. Squires gonna check the ball back in. Lobbing it out. Number three with the drive. Dang. Trying for the layup, draws the foul. That'll send him to the line for two. Foul is on 33. His second, team third. Now we're starting to rack up some fouls. First shot's good. Let's see if we can make the second shot just as good. What's up? Off the back of the rim, but he gets his own rebound, puts up a jumper. Off the edge of the rim. Out on Squires. Edge of the ball. rim, edge of the backboard, and it's Comet Ball. <laughs> <laughs> the big glass thing with the round orange thing, we're just going to have to start doing it preschool style. Oh, yeah. Well, we're in Indiana. The average preschooler can call a game better than I can. <laughs> Kinder <laughs> with the ball. <laughs> You'd never know. I was born and raised here. Right, uh, right. <laughs> Over to Scott. Scott looking for help. Staying at the top of the arc, trying to get help. Kinzer able to get there. Hartman. 
Launching it over to Lau, just a bit over his head. He'll be out on Comets making the Squire ball once again. Coach Carl Davis looking flustered. All right, Squires number 11 with the three. It's good. What was that whistle? The foul on number 20. It's his second, so that's going to make this a. Make a Squire possession. Yeah, it wasn't a shooting foul. I don't know why people were setting up to line up for a. Well, he was he was firing off that three. I'm I'm being there on the far side of the court. You probably would have assumed, yeah. All right, Squires with the drive. Jumper. Scott trying to get in on there. Ball was no or the shot was no good. Scott with the rebound sends it over to Kinzer. He's going to bring it into Comets territory. And put it up. Kinzer with the drive, drawing the foul. He's going to go to the line for two. There we go. Now it's on Squires number 23. His first, team second. First shot's up. It's good. Second shot's through the rim. Shot. There we go. Squires setting up to get something moving. Going around the arc. And maybe look for a drive in. Popping a three. Off the mark. Squires with the rebound. Off the mark. On the rebound again. We finally get it in. Drops it and draws the foul. He'll be going to the line for one. Number 11, Mark Smith checking in for 13. Hunter Shane Lob. Yeah, the shot's off. Zane Scott with the rebound. Kins are into Comet territory with the ball. Then over to Lau. Lau out to Smith to Kinzer. Kinzer with the drive. Looking for somebody open, kicks it over to Scott. Scott trying to find some help, gets it in Lau. And Smith, Smith all the way over to Kinzer. Kinzer with the fake. He's gonna drive, drive in. Drive for two. Ref's calling no shot. Foul was on white number three, or Squires number three, his first. It's team third. Still Comet ball. Kinzer launching it over to Scott. Scott out over to Smith, and then back to Kinzer. Kinzer lobbing it over to uh, Scott, trying to get into Shane Lob. Shane Lob in trouble. Loses control of it, goes to the Squires. Back in Squires territory. Baseline drive. Misses the shot, draws the foul. He'll go to the line for two. That foul was on Mark Smith. That's his second. Team six. First shot's right on the money. Squires number five coming in for number three. Second shot's up and good. Two forty left in this third period as Brandon Kinzer brings it back into Comets territory. Gets it over to Scott to pop up for three, just a bit over.
bit over, much like the, the moon is a bit away from Indiana. <laughs> we had a foul in there. We'll keep it a comet ball. And that was on uh, Squires number 10. That's his first, team fourth. Kenzer looking for somebody to send it into. Gets yeah, it over to Smith. Back to Kenzer. Going to the top of the arc. Looking for someone. Gets it over to Lau. Smith setting screens. Lau trying to get open for something. Gets over to Kenzer. Looks like there's a travel and it'll be Squire's ball. Oh, no, that was a foul on Mark Smith, his third, team seventh. Squires ball, and it's in Squires court. Number five drives in, passes over to number four, loses control of it to the Comets. Gens are getting over to Scott. Scott Bout took a paw to the face as uh, his defender was swiping at it. Kins are looking for an opening here. I'm driving to pop up for a two. It's good. He gets the two. The Squires now are going to try to answer that. Around the three point line, 35 with a travel. It's going to send the ball back into Comets' possession. we got 33 Mike Rands coming in for Zane Scott. Kinzer passed the ball off to Lau. Lau back to Kinzer, then over to Shane Lobb. Back to Lau and back to Kinzer. Kinzer popping a three. There's his three. Thing of beauty. Right, oh, into the corner. Open three. Off the mark. Kenzer with the rebound. It. He slowed things down. He hesitated a little bit. Shane Law with the put up for two. He gets it for two. Comet's trying to answer back and close down that deficit as the third quarter winds down. We had a foul on the shot. The shot was good. That foul was on number 11, Mark Smith. That's his fourth. He's now in foul trouble. Not sure if uh, Coach Davis is going to let him foul out or, or go ahead and pull him out. Shot's up, and it's off the mark. Get on the rebound, though, to put it up for another two. In and out. Shane Lobb with the rebound. Sends it over to Lau, who misses that grab. Grabs a hold of the control, though. Kinzer ends up with possession. Rand's looking for help. Out of bounds off the Squires, number 54. Comets will keep it under their basket. Over top to Shane Love, who's going to kick it over to Smith. Lose track of it, getting over to Squires to go up for. Throwing it back to go up for an easy two. Nine seconds, seven seconds left in the third. Wow. You're gonna have to get rid of it. Put it, it up. Rand's putting it up. It's off the mark as the third period winds down. Well, we've closed out the third period with Squires having 50, Comets having 23. We'll be back in a few moments here on RTC TV4. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe. Online at woodlawnhospital.com. 
Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. And we're back as we await the teams to take the hardwood. Finish out the final eight minutes of game time tonight. If you're just joining us, welcome. <laughs> Where have you been? We're at the end of the game. <laughs> We're almost done. <laughs> See, Comets have got total eight, eight fouls this, uh, this half, so Squires will have a bonus going into here, giving them extra shots on the line. I think it's Comet possession, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Comet's going to try to get something going and close down a 27-point deficit. Shane Lobb with the ball into the paint. Trying to go for two. Number 52, that's six foot seven, or getting a hand on it. Squires send the ball to an open corner. Comet's answering with coverage. Squires looking to do something. Passing the ball around the three-point line. Trying to find an opening if something. Popping up for two. No good, and Kinzer with that rebound. Holding on to it and letting, the, letting some of the traffic get down to the other end of the court. They're so getting into Rands and over to Shane Lobb, then back to Rands. Rands over some help, gets it to Luke. Wow. Over to Kenzer. Kenzer just about overran that pass. Got a hold of it. Over to Lau again. And over to Rands. And to Shane Lobb. Who can't quite keep a hold of it. It's going to go out of bounds. Go back to the Squires. Squires passing the ball around the three-point line, trying to send it inside. And missed pass puts it in the back into the hands of Brandon Kinzer. Kinzer fakes out a drive, looking for somebody to pass to. So the Wyatt Brummett who's making his appearance in this matchup for the first time. I did not see Brummett take the court. I did not either. Looks like he's in for uh, Mark Smith, who's found himself in foul trouble. Into Shane, Shane Lobb. Lobb, that was stuffed. He was stuffed. That 52. Yeah, there, was, there was a lot of a lot of chest contact there, though. I feel like that was a foul, but once again, I'm not in the position to argue with the refs. Kinzer with the drive fakes the shot out to Shane Lobb. Back to Kinzer, who's going to take that three, and he it's gets good. It. Squires trying to put up for a two. It's no good. Shane Lobb gets that rebound. Sends it over to Kinzer. Kinzer with the drive. Putting it up. I heard contact I, with my headset on there, Dakota. Yeah, me too. I think he, at the end of that, he kind of just flailed to get it up. <laughs> well, I see uh, Brady Hartman going in for Mike Rands, number 33. Five minutes, 20 seconds left in this game as the Squires get it down to their end of the court. Squires keeping the ball, taking it all the way around the arc. Trying to get it in to their six foot seven. That's gonna be out of bounds off of Shane Lobb's defense of that huge number 52. And he's only a junior too. I mean, that's a guy you could look up to. Yeah, I know, that scares me. <laughs> I can only do that to a handful of people. All right, number four with a three-pointer from that corner, and he nails it. Kinzer into Comets territory, over to Brummett. Brummett's gonna drive. Send it out to Hartman. Woo, who almost misses grabbing that pass. It's back over to Brummett. 
Grumman looking for some help. We kind of cut up there at the top, give it to Hartman. And launching it over to Lau. And Lau trying to get it over to Shane Lau, get it around base, couldn't quite get it. He'll take it out and right back to the Squires. Squires, deep pass into the corner. There's a three, and it's good. Kinzer crossing the halfway. So to Lau, who's going to lose control of it. Number 22, Zane Scott, going in for number four, Luke Lau. Squires keeping the ball around the arc. Gets it inside and to that number 52. Misses his shot, and Brandon Kenzer grabs the rebound. Kenzer getting it out to Brummett. And Brummett looking for Hartman. And over to Kenzer. And Kenzer giving it back to Hartman. And Hartman trying to get into Shane Live. He's able to recover it. Send it out to Brummett. Thomas is trying to get something to move. Brummett's needing help. Gets it over to Hartman. Or Shane Love is recovering it. Kind of finecking with the ball a little bit there. Kinzer up trying to get himself open. Sends it over to Brummett. And Brummett over to Kinzer to pop it up for a three. Just off the mark. And the Squires are going to get that rebound. Send it down for the lay-in. So fast, so fast. 2.45 left in the ball game. Kinzer looking for the open man, sends it into Hartman. Gonna be a foul on 30. Foul on uh, 34. That's gonna be his first, team fifth. And we've got a whole lot of change-up going on on the floor. We've got Levi Lau, Zach Conrad, Jesse Rockwolf, Brady Mills, and Wyatt Brumman remaining on the floor. Brummett trying to check it into Conrad. Conrad doesn't quite get it, but his defender knocks it out of bounds. Comets will keep it. Brummett looking for somebody. Sends it into Jesse Rock Wolf, who toes the line with the ball in his hands and goes out of bounds. Squire trying to drive in. You've got a long two, in and out. Loose ball back to the Squires for a three. Just short. Squires get the rebound and put it up and finally get it. Get some points off of it. Brummett now with the ball, taking it over the mid. Losing possession, getting it back. That number four is just all over Brummett like white on rice. Sends it over to Mills. Mills to Conrad. Conrad finds nobody. Sends it outside to Lau. Lau into Rock Wolf, who gets stuffed on that, and we're gonna have a jump ball. Rock Wolf just getting swarmed with a bunch of squires. He's left all alone in the mid. Well, the ball's back in play, coming back into squires territory. Squires going for a pass. Thought he was going all the way for the layup. Goes for two. And put up that jumper and take two off of it. Wow. Oh, three, it's way over. And into the arms of the awaiting Squire. Squires overrun their drive, pass it back and get the two. 60 seconds now left in the ball game. 
Brummett. And they get to Rockwolf. Over to Mills. Over to Lau. And Lau back to Rockwolf. Trying to drive in, get something moving. Mills. Now heading over to Conrad. Conrad's and trying to send it back to Rock Wolf. Bad pass, giving it to the Squires. That'll be out of bounds on the Squires. Brummett bringing it into Thomas territory with 25 seconds remaining. So to Rock Wolf. We find some gives it to Conrad. Conrad with the pump fake, sends it over to Mills. They're trying to set a screen. Seven seconds left. Squires the now. Squires steal that pass, take it down for the layup. And that's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Devastating loss tonight to the Squires by the comments. Loss of 66 to 26. And with that being the end of it, folks, uh, my name is Dakota Hayden, alongside with Blair Zimmerman. Thank you for tuning in to RTC TV4 tonight. Uh, to see more games like this, check out our website at rtctv4.com, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.